Now, the Shadow Chancellor, John McDonnell, has insisted that Labour will not tolerate any form of racism in the party. The head of the party's disciplinary panel, Christine Shawcroft, has stepped down after it emerged she'd opposed the suspension of a local election candidate accused of Holocaust denial. Mr McDonnell said Labour was bringing forward measures to deal with anti-Semitism, which should have been implemented ages ago. Well, we're joined now by Justin Cohen. He's the news editor of Jewish News, who conducted an exclusive interview with Jeremy Cohen, uh, Jeremy Corbyn, on allegations of anti-Semitism in Labour. And just before I speak to Justin, let's take a look at the front page of this week's Jewish News. There it is, and you can see it for yourself uh, on the front cover. It says, as British Jews said, enough is enough on Labour anti-Semitism. We gave Jeremy Corbyn a chance to finally repair the damage, but his answers were simply, and then the headline, not good enough. So, Justin, what was it about the interview, about the answers that didn't satisfy you or that you were uncomfortable with? Unlike many of the people that I was speaking to before going into the interview, I, I had an element of, of hope, albeit from a low bar. We'd seen in the previous couple of days the Jewish community going further than it had ever gone in condemning uh, the lack of action within the Labour Party uh, and by Jeremy Corbyn himself uh, towards anti-Semitism. Um, and in response, Jeremy Corbyn himself had gone further than he's ever gone. He recognised explicitly certain types of new anti-Semitism that connected to, uh, to Israel, anti-Semitic anti-Zionism, as, as it's often known. He uh, specifically said that it was more than a few bad apples that were responsible for this within the party. So I went into the interview after three years of trying to get it, thinking that, that there must be a readiness here to move this forward, to carry on uh, the uh, efforts to repair ties with the Jewish community, uh, quite a, a gargantuan task in itself. Um, and yeah, I, I, I was rather disappointed with a lot of what I heard, um, principally given where we are at the moment, given Jeremy Corbyn's own recognition of the extent of the problem, he was unable to explicitly condemn the claims that uh, allegations of anti-Semitism are smears that have come from including some people very close to him, people like Chris Williamson, Williamson MP. Um, he also uh, endorsed, and I would say went out of his way to some extent, to endorse the group Jewish Voice for Labour, which is the fringe group that put on a counter demonstration to the main um, mainstream community demonstration uh, on Monday. That group, JVL, put out a statement uh, saying that the reason, main reason behind what was going on, the main reason for 1,500 people gathering to condemn a leader of the opposition, uh, opposition in an unprecedented fashion was down to the local elections more than it was down to the real fight against anti-Semitism. So, summing up what you've just said, would it be a fair summation to say you felt his response was not emphatic enough? He, again, as, as we have heard consistently during this week, and in the past, has to be said, he, he, he gave a lot of the right language. We, we heard his explicit condemnation of anti-Semitism. We heard an explicit uh, denial that he was an anti-Semite, something which uh, I, I personally have never believed to be the case directly. Many people, and increasing numbers of people, do believe that to be the case. But um, yes, I think if you are going to claim to take a zero tolerance approach to anti-Semitism and all these people are gathering in an unprecedented fashion to say more needs to be done, there's a counter demonstration that says that these people are wrong and you endorse these people as good people, then there's a question mark over your seriousness. Uh, on the deselection of MPs or the campaign to deselect some MPs who attended that Enough is Enough rally on Monday, including David Lammy. You asked him about that um, and he said it's up to the local party, but not for that. No. What did you make of that specific answer? Yeah, I, I, I think um, it, it obviously leaves the door open for people to uh, move towards deselections for other reasons, um, just not specifically for the rally. And I think it was important that we heard that because he is not the only MP that's, that, that's faced this abuse for attending the rally. And, and just a, a final question, Justin, if I may, on um, Christine Shawcroft uh, over these uh, uh, Holocaust uh, denial, the Holocaust denial Facebook post made by uh, a Labour candidate uh, in Peterborough who is no longer the Labour candidate. She, she hasn't been asked to step down from the NEC yet, though, has she? Should she? I think that, I, from what I understand, she has uh, 
taken a positive approach to tackling anti-Semitism up to now. He, she's called for action against Ken Livingston and other people. However, uh, she's recognised her mistake, and I think it could well have been a genuine mistake. But in light of recent events and in light of the zero tolerance approach, I think she needs to realise that probably her position at the moment is untenable. OK. Um, Justin Cohen uh, from The Jewish News, thank you very much for coming along to talk to us.